Hi, this is Greg Reed. Today I'm putting up a video on what a prospecting pipeline actually looks like. You see, prospecting to get people into your business is actually a process. And what unfortunately a lot of network marketers do is when they first get involved in the business is they go out there and they try to find people and convince them and, and seek to how to change these people's views in order to get them involved in network marketing. This is not the approach that you need to take. All you are required to do is to go out and find people who are open to taking a look at your network marketing uh, organization. It is really a sorting and sifting process that takes them through a series of steps and stages in order to determine whether or not they're going to become a prospect in your business and eventually enroll in the business with you. So it really is a process and today I just want to look at that pipeline and the process that we actually go through. First thing we need to do is obviously have a pre-qualifying approach in order to see if somebody could be interested in your network marketing opportunity. And probably one of the best ways to do it is, is to open up and give them an invitation for them to, to look. And one of the best invitations that I use consistently is to say to somebody, uh, you know, when you're talking to them, uh, discuss, you know, what's happening in their lives, how things are going in their business. If they indicate some things are not quite right, they're not quite achieving the financial security that they want in their current job or current business, then this is an opening for you to come in and give them what we call a pre-qualifying uh, invitation. And the, the invitation goes something like this. John, if I could show you a business that made sense, um, that could be started part-time, and it didn't interfere with what you're actually doing, would you be open to taking a look? The key word there is open. If you say, uh, would you be interested in taking a look, it sort of implies a little bit more commitment than they may be prepared to give at this stage. So make sure you use that word open. The next thing you need to do is then set up a uh, first look approach to your network marketing opportunity. And that might be giving them a CD or a DVD or perhaps sending them to a company website where they can get some brief uh, information and I suppose sort of whet their appetite as to whether or not they could be interested in what you're actually showing. The third step is actually do a presentation. And that again would require giving them uh, more information, perhaps it's a one-on-one, -on -one, but preferably you want to hook up with your sponsor and uh, what we call a two-on-one type of approach. What this actually does is that it takes the, the focus away from yourself and more onto your um, sponsor. This is a great system to use, particularly if you're inviting people out of the circle of influence. They're not now looking at you, but they're listening to the information that your sponsor is about to deliver. And it really gives you some more credibility and edifies the, the, the group that you're actually involved in. So use the, the two-on-one approach whenever you can, whether it be through a three-way call or even a uh, two-on-one face-to-face meeting. The fourth process in this pipeline is that if uh, we're still progressing through, then you need to uh, get the people perhaps in front of a larger audience, perhaps uh, get them along to a hotel event, perhaps get them along to a company event. Because when people come inside the group and they actually see that there's you know, 100 or 200 people, all of the same cause, all of the same commitment, uh, people out there start to, to unify with that kind of group and they start to feel better and they feel that this is you know, something that they possibly would want to do and they can see the kind of people that are involved. And typically network marketers at any of these events are, are very positive and outgoing and it really gives them, uh, I suppose, a sense of community and a sense of family when they get along to these larger events. Now normally this kind of event is where most of your enrollment processes will happen, which, which is the fifth uh, part of the pipeline. Uh, so from here on out, people uh, have seen the company, they understand all about the, the products and services that you're offering, they understand the group that uh, you particularly represent, and if they're happy with all that, they should now be in a process to enrol. So obviously get them enrolled, uh, make sure you have your enrolment forms with you or send them to the website, whichever is the case that applies for your particular organisation and obviously get them involved and then you need to obviously book them in for their get started uh, training within the 48 hours of their enrolment. So I hope you understand now how this pipeline actually works. Uh, it's a great process you go through and uh, if you follow it to the letter you're going to have a tremendous amount of success. Thanks for your time, I look forward to catching up with you again real soon. Bye for now.